A significant solar eclipse is in store for us on Saturday, October the 14th. And this solar eclipse will be a breakthrough. But what it is all about and why this eclipse is so important, more about this in a moment. And first I want to welcome you on my YouTube channel. And if you want a weekly energy update and also an astrological forecast, then subscribe to my free newsletter. And I also have an exclusive membership where I share a lot of unpublished informations, channelings and private live streams. And if you would like to be part of this special community, then feel free to check out my membership. And last but not least, if you are interested in learning Vedic astrology, then become part of my astrology online course and all of those information about how you can learn Vedic astrology below this video. Why is the solar eclipse so special? The solar eclipse will take place on October the 14th at 26, nearly 27 degrees in the sign of Virgo. The sun and moon will meet there exactly together with the planet Mercury and this will be an intense eclipse which will bring many things to the forefront. And what is the topic, the theme of this solar eclipse for you personal, but also for all of us. An eclipse normally takes place in the same sign of the zodiac where the lunar nodes are located. Because the lunar nodes are the points of intersection of the orbit of the sun and the moon. And the upper lunar node, we call it Rahu is just at zero degrees, which is very significant. It is a starting point of a complete new astrological cycle. It is a significant energetic point when a solar eclipse happens at zero degrees. It speaks about a new beginning. Literally, you can start a new life at this zero degrees. And the upper lunar node will stand still there for about three months. This is really a cosmic new beginning. And the solar eclipse will take place three degrees away from this lunar node axis. And this makes it a very intense solar eclipse because the closer the sun and the moon is to the lunar nodes, the greater is the influence, the influence on your consciousness. And often then certain processes of recognition are possible. You begin to see and perceive things which you were not aware before. And we call also this zero degrees in Vedic astrology, and I'm speaking today of Vedic astrology, Gandanta. And I spoke about Gandanta in several videos. This is a point where you can have the feeling that something is strange, something Big is happening, but you cannot really understand what's happening and you cannot control the situation. And this can bring up a lot of fears because you start to connect to an extreme power. And this extreme power is connected to a special um, star, star constellation that is connected to the zero point and this is called the sea monster. And if you get in contact with this intense energy, you feel it felt like drowning. You cannot really control your life. You are in a, in a intense energy, energy field. 
and this is at zero degrees in the sign of Aries. And like I told you, the energies of the fixed stars, they are the energies we experience in the zodiac signs. They are the real energies behind those different zodiac signs. And then we have those 12 houses. And this can bring up a lot of upheavals and can bring up a completely new orientation that your old identity can dissolve, but into something new, into something better. And sometimes it does not always have to be so dramatic. And of course, it depends how open you are for your own inner fears and how open you are for transformation. And this can, can be experienced at this moment of the solar eclipse and also the month October, November and December, because those months are strongly connected to this zero degree in the sign of Aries, this new beginning and connected to the energy of the sea monster, which is at 29 degrees in the sign of, of Pisces. And with this solar eclipse, we do not only have those zero degrees that are important. We also have the planet Mercury sitting very near to the eclipse. And Mercury was a long time retrograde and also disappeared on the sky. But since the, the 18th of September, Mercury is back. And also Mercury is now in its own sign. And this can bring up with the solar eclipse. We may, might feel that we are not really clear, clear to, um, to make new decisions. But some days later, the energy of Mercury will be very strong and help us to make new decisions and to understand that those important decisions we can now make is not only about our intelligence, it is also about our intuition. This is really important and connects to the sign of Pisces. And to understand that your decisions are always the right decisions. And a big topic also with the solar eclipse is the topic of health and healing and also diseases. And I spoke also about those uh, themes in other videos. And um, the lunar nodes, they will change after the eclipse one month later in the sign of Pisces and Virgo. And this will also bring the focus on these topics. And um, the ruler of the lunar mansion where the solar eclipse happens, because we have in Vedic astrology lunar mansions, and the sun and the moon is at the solar eclipse in the lunar mansion of, of Mars. It is called Chitra. And this connects those energies of the sun and the moon to the planet Mars. And planet and Mars is in the next house, in the next sign, in the sign of Libra, next to the solar eclipse and shows us the effects of the solar eclipse. And there we have Ketu and Mars. Uh, like I told you, the ruler of Chitra. And this Ketu and Mars is a special energy cocktail. And it is connected often with accidents, with difficulties, and sometimes also with death. And the solar eclipse in the sign of Virgo, it is an earth sign, can also trigger shifts of the planetary energies 
of planet Earth itself and bring up earthquakes, storms, volcanic eruptions. And especially in the months, in the following months till December. And you may know that we have at this time a special comet in the starry sky. It is the comet Nishimura. And Nishimura shows up and the comet is always a very important messenger. A messenger of shifts and transformation. But this comet will also bring up the potential of healing and helps us to bring something back into balance. And likewise, this comet now appears short time before the solar eclipse. And this is very meaningful. And there is also a connection with the solar eclipse to the planet Saturn and Rahu and Uranus. And those energies will also trigger the topic of earthquakes and earth shifts very strongly. And then we have also another important player with this solar eclipse and this is the planet Pluto, which is almost in a 90 degree angle to the solar eclipse, to the sun and the moon. And what could this bring up? It can bring up sudden and unexpected events also because of Uranus is involved and Pluto can act like such a ticking time bomb. A time bomb for changes and transformation and mostly with our leaders on the political level and the system of the, the democratic system we have. And I spoke about this also in another video, but it can also bring up natural disasters because Pluto is also in an earthly sign in Capricorn. And with this special constellation and a connection to Jupiter and Rahu in the sign of Aries, this can also bring up really chaotic times but also it will bring up from the chaotic we will see that a new awakening consciousness will rise for many people. They will awaken into a higher awareness of themselves, a new sense of who they really are. And these are sacred moments of self-realization, of self knowledge of seeing yourself in a totally new way. And this can arise through this solar eclipse. The solar eclipse will be the trigger for this. And another important information about the solar eclipse is, well, when we look at the path of the solar eclipse, where the solar eclipse is visible, then this is the area where the effects can be experienced most strongly. And the path of this eclipse leads over Mexico, North America, Dallas, Texas, to South America and ends, I think, at Brazil. And this means where you can see the solar eclipse this uh, connects mostly to those parts, regions of the earth. A solar eclipse opens your awareness, your consciousness, and you can see things you could not see before. And with this special energies, it is also important. And like I spoke about in another video that the end of September may be some some changes in our political structures can start. It is important that we also get new visions how we want to live together in the future. And we cannot change the parliamentary structures from today 
to tomorrow, but we need a plan and we need to have a vision how we want to interact together and how we want to have a leadership in this way because we need it for maybe some several years. But it is important not only to say what you do not want, what you do not like, where you see a dark side or something like this. It is also to bring up new visions, what you really want and how we can implement those new systems. That's also very important. But mostly a solar eclipse helps you to, to connect to your true power that lies in you, the merging of the energy of the sun and the moon that can happen in your, of your consciousness, of this higher consciousness that merges totally with your consciousness of yourself. And this can bring up amazing results if you start to act out more from this consciousness who you really are. And it is really a very special time now with those zero degrees of the upper lunar node for three months. It is a big new beginning. And we now have a series of new moons and they will all take place at 26 to 27 degrees until the next solar eclipse in April. This is amazing. It is amazing how the universe shows us and helps us to develop new impulses to implement something completely new really to understand this is a new birth, a new birth of yourself. And maybe a lot, a lot of people, they broke up with their old partnership, relationships, and now you can find with those energies, maybe somebody who is more connected to your energy. And maybe there's a change in your job and your interests. It's really an important time to use this energy for your new birth in the vision you want to be and to learn more about your true self and to find it out and to be playful with it so that the new world that you want to be in truly can manifest here on earth. That's my message now for this solar eclipse and please share this video with like-minded people and I love you.